Hey everyone, how you doing today? Let me see if I can send out. Patrick. So, uh, I'm waiting for my girl Cassandra to join me. And uh, I am full time watching children right now, so I'm. If I get interrupted, I apologize in advance. We'll see. I just set them up with ice cream and some YouTube, so we'll see how long I get. But, um, good evening. It's actually, it's, it's, it's the evening over here too, I guess. It's more like afternoon, two o'clock over here in California. So, today what I just wanted to, to the topic I wanted to bring up was just talking about law of attraction and team building and bringing people together and basically how, um, Basically how like how that process is supernatural and we basically are where we need to be at all times. Hey Cassie, uh, can you request to join me so I can get you on here? It's my first time doing a double live like this, so if I have any technical difficulties. <laughs> Maybe I can request you. Let's see. Add. Add. Okay, girl, you're coming. <laughs> oh, connection failed. Sad face. Let me see. Let's try it again. Approve. Add. It's not letting me do it. It's saying connection failed. Let's try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna request you. Yeah, I'm not, it's not letting me. It, you could go ahead and try to uh, resend the, the invite. But I wanted to have Cassandra on here with me. I don't know why it's not allowing me to. It's the first time I ever tried it. So maybe there's something in my phone or a setting or something going on that's not allowing me to, uh, to add her in. I'm trying one more time. Yeah, it won't let me do it. So, I'm sad about that because we were supposed to do this together. <laughs> but it's okay. But, um, basically, what I just wanted to share is that, you know, you are exactly where you need to be at all times. If you're watching this video or you're watching the replay, you're supposed to be. So um, I hope that you can take something from it that will motivate you as we uh, move forward into this new year that we got going on. Let's see. I'm going to try one more time because I really want you to be here. Yeah, I don't know about the connection to that as far as uh, bringing you on. I'm going to have to work out those difficulties, uh, that technical part. But it's okay because everything is as it is supposed to be. And... Um, and, you know, 
one thing I want to talk about is um, it's important about who you decide to work with. And, um, you know, I know that there's a lot of us online and we're trying to basically make something out of nothing and like, you know, live out this dream or this idea that we have in our heads. And, um, you know, we're all working towards the same goals is what I'm realizing. We all have the same goals. Uh, we all kind of have similar limitations, but what we do have is we each have something to offer. And so, um, you know, I may not have everything that I need, you know, at, at, at one time or all at once. I got one, we got kid number one coming in, okay? Okay, I'm live, okay, so please don't. Um, I know you're live, I don't even know why I came in here. Thank you. You two out, please. Now, two kids. Okay, go get one. Okay. All right, this is definitely going to be short-lived. So, let me just uh, make a point real quick. Um, it really matters who you choose to work with. And, um, you know, take the time to get to know people. Because we all have something to offer. We all have special gifts. Uh, we all have, you know, you may have read a different book than me. Or a different website or saw a different video or you know of course you obviously have different experiences you know and I think that if we're able to bring that together then we can form um, an amazing team and since we're all working towards the same goal which is ultimately to get money and start living um, a better life okay some people want to be millionaires some people just want to do better whichever way we're trying to all generated income so why not do it together why not you know especially for those who are out here really putting in the work for the ones who are really um paying for advertisements paying for marketing programs um posting reading the, the work like reading the action plans and actually putting in action for all those action takers let's work together because we can build something beautiful um i am uh, I'm already with, I'm plugged into this amazing team. It's a law of attraction was totally at work to bring us together because, you know, we all joined an opportunity, um, to be a part of a team. You can't, you can't bring that in here. You cannot put that, bring that. You can't. Okay. Um, Law of Attraction is definitely at work um, bringing my team, GDI Freedom, together because we were all, we all joined another team. And we all were, you know, trying to follow another plan. And somehow we came together to form something, you know, we, we true, our intentions are truly to like help people help themselves, empower each other, and honestly, share each other's resources. You know, let's make it a little bit easier uh, to get to the end goal. And um, I'm super excited to do that. I'm super excited to be able to, um, to go through this process. Okay? And so, yes, Patrick, absolutely, it's destiny, you know. And I have so many destiny situations in my life okay that I can't question fate you know I know that everything happens for a reason because I've you know I've seen enough and I've experienced enough to where even when something seems like it's bad it turns out good or it has this purpose in it and then I've also been in situations where I thought it was super super good and then it turned out to be not what I want it to be. And one thing I will say about life is that if it's too good to be true, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is, okay? And that doesn't mean that magical things can't happen. It just means that, like, if it's too easy, okay, uh, what's, those, what's that saying? You know, I don't know, basically the saying of, when it's hard, basically it's worth it, okay? You know, you gotta go through the grind. It builds character, okay? And I think I talked about yesterday. 
Use your fear and become awesome. Oh my gosh. Do you know how my heart was palpitating before I started this feed, okay? Uh, I wanted to be here with you, Cassandra, and like have this conversation, and I knew that that was gonna make it like more comfortable and we would be able to talk and be natural. But I also wanted to, um, I, you know, I also want to, you know, you two, to approve of me and my topic and my live, you know, like I so I was nervous, like, oh, please let me get this right, you know. <laughs> so my heart, right before I went live, my heart was just like beating so hard, you know, but I used that fear, okay, I got, I worked through it, I pushed through that fear, and I still pushed the live button, okay, and I'm still here, um, and even though our plan didn't go the way that we wanted to, hold on, I got child interruption, hmm? Uh, uh, your kid needs some toilet paper. I need a. Ch I have a child who needs toilet paper. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> ah! Papa! I assure you, Pablo. Okay. Hey, we'll sit in the front. I'm only gonna be about five more minutes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, not that I can remember exactly the last thing I said, but um, it just, you know what, everybody, uh, everybody who comes and watches this video, I'm so glad that you did. I'm so glad that you tuned in with me, and um, I'm so glad for all the experiences that I'm having uh, through uh, learning to market online and team building. You know, honestly, this is, it's becoming fun. So I know that this is for me because it's fun now, you know? Exactly, Cassandra, we can multitask. That's one thing that, uh, you know, you gotta be able to do if you're gonna be an entrepreneur. You better, you have to be able to multitask because you got basically, especially online, you got the whole world in your hands, okay? And you need to be able to manage it. And uh, time management, oh my goodness, that is so important to um, to building your business and, and staying on track. You know, something else, I, I know I'm all over the topics, but something about MLL, MLM team building is that it's about team building. Like you, if you are just now starting a program and if your sponsor is new to the program as well, Consider it your responsibility to do as much research and grind work as her. And if you can, if you and your sponsor can work together to create training programs and to create a system that can be duplicated, then you're going to win. Okay? That's what MLM building is about, is duplication process. So you need to figure out what works. And then you need to find some like-minded people who are willing to also do some trial and error with you. And, and then once you find something that works, then just keep going and keep going and keep going and duplicate it. Um, and so, but I, but okay, so my main point about was that, is that you're responsible for coaching your team, okay? If you want to be successful, okay? Coach your team to be successful. Share uh, your strategies. Share your, uh, the, if you've tried different programs or if you've had some failures, you know, share it with um, with your team so that they can move forward and be like, oh, don't try that program because, you know, it, it really wasn't worth the investment. And then that person can, can take that knowledge and then go find something that actually does work, you know? and share your resources and share your knowledge okay um so that you can all obtain your goal so um thank you for tuning in latasha um the last thing i want to say because these kids are like crawling at the door and they're like we want you we want you <laughs> okay uh last thing i want to say is just a small recap of you're always where you're supposed to be it does matter who you build your team with because you're working together share your resources share your knowledge share your ideas and even your failures 
um, step outside of your comfort zone. Don't be, you know, push through your fears. Hold on, we got a comment here. Tip and trick, study objection handling as a sales technique. What? Ah, study objection okay. handling. So do you, by objection, do you mean like when people are saying, like are, are objecting to what you're saying to like, um, you know, if they're saying like, oh, I don't think that's for me. Is that what you mean, Galena? Um, so cause that's what I took the comment as. And I have, I have, um, heard a lot of people talk about that, about how to deal with your nose and how to like, uh, help, you know, people have all kinds of, good, good. Okay. So I am right. Okay, cool. Uh, so people have all kinds of objections and reasons, and especially, uh, when you're talking to other net networkers, a lot of it is, um, they're already working a business and they don't want to jump and jump and jump. Um, but they don't want to, you know, keep jump, jumping programs, but you, you know, one thing about GDI, which what I would say as far as objection, handling no. that objection is that it goes hand in hand with other business because everybody needs a website. Everybody needs a domain name and you can actually, you can make your website. It's anything you want to, you can use site builder or WordPress. Okay, and you can make it, if you have five different businesses that you've been trying to manage, you can draw all your traffic to one. So this is how GDI kind of would handle that particular objection. Let's see. Map them out and turn it into a quick guide. It builds the confidence of your team. Thank you, Galena. Thank you, Cassandra. I hope you saw this comment. Okay, we'll be on that. Okay, uh, because... That is extremely helpful information. She says that um, as far as objections that people may have for joining your business, you should map them out and then create a quick guide for uh, your team members so that when they're met with that, with that objection, then you they already have something prepared and it builds their confidence and they don't have to feel like, ah, like they objected me. So, great, Gal Galena, and I hope I say your name right. Okay, I, I really do. Um, thank you for sharing that awesome tip, okay? I would definitely be checking out your page to see what you've got going on. And um, I and another law of attraction statement before I leave from here is, you know, I didn't know she was going to be here to give me that great, awesome um tip for me and our team, Team GDI Freedom, okay, and also, you know, to help me have something to talk about with you on this live, so, so thank you, universe, okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead, because I have somebody screaming mom at the top of their lungs right now, he wants, um, yeah, and they got another toilet paper call, you guys, so, I'm here with my children, and I'm also babysitting. Thank you guys for tuning off. I am gonna, um, I gotta get off right now. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Team GDI Freedom. Go, go, go. At Chattanooga. Uh, say bye, kids. Say bye. Bye. Okay.